Yo! Video games. Yeah, it's... Yeah. The only thing really missing is that the single player still isn't great. Yeah, the single player is... I mean, it's not It's not a... Uh, At least uh, it's, what, what, there's I something there. It. I would never do it again, though. There's it, something it there. Subspace there's Emissary. stuff to do, but... Eh. Yeah, Space Emissary was so good. It does have mostly stable eight-player gameplay, though. Wow. Oh. Uh, I yeah, didn't play, did not play Sushi Striker. WarioWare, get it together. Uh, we beat, we did everything. It's like a C tier. It's, I think it, yeah, it's, I think that almost kind of seemed like one of the weaker it's, Warrior it's games. It's fine, but it kind of follows Warrior the same games. problem as like Mario Tennis and yeah, and golf, where it's like it's kind of like eh, it's what it's WarioWare, yeah, and it feels like it was phoned in. Yeah, sure does. Now here's a um, question: Do we just make an MSF tier? <laughs> Do we just do we just say fuck it and make an MSF here? Mm. <laughs> do not resist Simmons. We know you. Well, no, that's. I mean, that's. <laughs> oh, that's it. No, because no, because because if that's Odyssey, good. If, if Odyssey is if Odyssey is the like the, the pinnacle of the, the best uh, you know Switch game, it you would have to make S tier because the you know, MSF. I mean, hmm, it's up there, I, I but I, 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 I don't know, man. Like, I mean, I, as much, I love Xenoblade 2, especially out of this group, but I don't know if I put that over, like, some of these other s rank games. <laughs> not, I mean, it's not fucking great, but, like... Critically, no. Like, objectively, no, but I don't think I'll ever think about other games like short of like something like near 13 sentinels like the way i would think about xenoblade 2's story mm. true that's true it's it's it, that it gets that's like the point where it starts to get really hard with when you get like the, like the, i come to these i play i don't come to mario odyssey right for story i come for its insane gameplay but i don't come i similarly like i think the gameplay of you know xenoblade games are is great but yeah but i also that's that's why i don't think I, i'm gonna like x at all because it, if it doesn't have a story, I give a fuck about it. But X is going to be important. But X is going to give it to you. It. No. I don't believe it. I don't no. believe that's going to be the case. He's, no. It's He's just trying to, you're just, don't, you're don't just trying to bait me. It, you might like it. I'm telling you, you enjoy, you enjoy Colony No, he's seen enough of so it long. to know that he's not. So I, I liked it, but that's because all the story stuff around it was really good. <laughs> there is story stuff. It's not like they don't say anything on the side quest in X. I know, but everyone looks weird and sounds weird. And You can fucking... make your own character. I mean, I can make my own character, but what, what does it matter? When everyone's, everyone around me looks and sounds like a bunch of assholes. <laughs> and the fucking <laughs> and, worst and, Mopon and, is there. And, and death stares you, like, every scene. Yeah. Mm. Just, like, dead eyes, you all know, right. stroked out. Well, all, all jokes aside, um... I do think, I do think Xenoblade, as a franchise, as a trilogy, is the pinnacle of JRPGs right now. Yeah. Like, I don't disagree. Like, there are other JRPGs probably of the same quality of it, but right now it's the most consistent. And, and, and like, it's all, it's pushing the hardware, it's, it's... It's pushing, you know. It's always got like great map design, great music, you know. It, it like, it go, it re, it, it's, it's, it's back to shooting for the moon for JRPGs. Yeah, um, I think, I think at this point, it's, it's, it would not be an, a, a hyperbole to say that I think Monolith Soft is, like, Nintendo's like best company. <laughs> it's like, like truly, like, I mean, it's not even just the fact that they made these games great, but the fact that of the, all the work they put into the other games that they've had to work on too. Within yeah. Their, uh, well, they their made IPs. magic with X on the Wii U, and they did the same thing with right, the current right. series on Switch. And, and yeah, again, no, like, it, there they're are fucking wizards. And I imagine there if are they, problems if they with... released the limiters and had a console that could take advantage of yeah. their full power. There are problems with two. Field skills are trash. Um, the UI is 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 bad. Not good. Is bad. The UI is bad. Having to open up the skill tree just to like acknowledge and and like confirm the Rex's skills. Pants are terrible. Um, it's, 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 again, whatever. It's it, yeah. It's the, the, <laughs> listen, Xenoblade Two. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Xenoblade Two is 
raw is is bad for all of the weird reasons and amazing for all of the right yeah. reasons. Yeah, and then there was like a translation because like they had the official translation, and the Nintendo developer dirt like ask a developer whatever for Xenoblade Three, and someone looked at the Japanese version and, and said like yeah they kind of translated this a little wonky for the official American English page. They're like Takahashi said that um, Xenoblade Definitive Edition was like. You know, it was it was just a, a really solid you know A student, you know the whole time. He said Xenoblade Two is is the student that basically like skips ever skips class, never turns in his homework, and then just comes in and aces the final. Aces everything. <laughs> he, he aces the final. Like he basically like ignored the whole semester, and then he comes in at the final and aces it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, good. So, so, put, so three would would three be above uh, one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'd say so too. <laughs> I mean, I I mean, I put one is like the least one I would go back to. Fraud, fraud, Howard. I can't take uh, I can't take that uh, assessment seriously when things like Elder Scrolls exist. <laughs> <laughs> Have uh, you heard of the High Elves? There are people that just love Morrowind, like <laughs> love it, and I'm like, why? <laughs> How can you stand these character designs? <laughs> right? Uh, I don't know. I mean, bro. That's over twenty years ugly. old. It's so ugly. Like everything in that game. Well, everything. That is from the age of brown, though. <sighs> well, what has Bugthesda ever made a game that looks good? Like from Bugthesda's main studio. I'm well, I think... happy you clarified that because I would have had to have mentioned the fact they had a hand in Hi Fi. Yeah, they, they did. Tango but... made Hi Fi. I mean, like the main studio, the main yeah. Yeah. Maryland studio. Like, Fall of Forest, but you know it fucking is not. <laughs> oh, I played that last. I played the first That's half it. of that last weekend, and that game is fucking great. <laughs> Fall of Forest? Wait, wait, what uh, is it? Hi Fi Rush. Oh, Hi Fi. Oh, Hi Fi is yeah. great. Well, I did so not play good. Shin Megami. People have tried to convince me, like... It's, it's really good. It's everything, you know, you, you want out of Persona. Like, all, all the things you want in Persona is in Shin Megami. And people are like, you should play the Shin Megami. I'm like, no. No, it's just, it takes out the spice of life stuff. And then you just have the despair shit. It, well, it's, it's, it's about... It's like how... It, it's Shin a Megami Ten, Shin Megami Tensei is to Persona that near auto, uh, Automata is to near Replica. Like, yeah. Near Replicant is, uh, and like Persona are all about the characters in the story, and Automata and uh, Shin Megami Tensei are, are mostly about the world itself, right? So, like, they're, they're I mean, to, to an extent, but. Uh, but it's still. Five is the best of it, and it's the best looking not 3DS game you've ever played. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Like, I played and beat it. It was... You beat Shin Megami 5? Yeah, I did. Oh, I, I played the shit out of it. It was... It was good. It's definitely, like... It, like, there's no fucking, like, Spice of Life happy bullshit. Mm -hmm. like, no. It's all just... This fuck... This world's fucked. Uh, shit's going down. <laughs> I and we gotta... And we, got, and we, and we, and we gotta three, talk yes. to demons and convince them to join us. That shit was fun. I'm seeing triangle strategy as a C. Uh, That's fair. I don't disagree. That's fair. It's, it, it's triangle a, strategy. It's a very, very, very story like heavy game. It's a is lesser. It, it's a less fun version of a Fire Emblem style game. Is it really? Wait. What about like? What about versus like Final Fantasy Tactics? I never actually played. No, it's not. It, as good. No. Okay. Cool. It's, it, again, I, it's, I, it's the octopath of, of, I, I, of strategy. I, play, I played and beat triangle strategy. It's. It is good. It's good if you re if you like heavy story, because that's what it is. It's you'll not even just like that it's heavy story the though. Here's the thing hours, that that only the, fight once. Here's the thing that you're that you're missing. Though. Characters repeat, not dialogue word for, but like they repeat what's happening over and over. They repeat themselves, where it's like it'd be like you'll have your party and then like bandits will invade the battlefield. Be like, there are bandits here. I will defeat I you, bandit. I know. I will. Do, I will stop you because I'm a big. I'm a know, big like, bandit. It's, and like it's, it's, it's every character heavy. has very to have their heavy. single line so, that's so just repeating like, the same shit. It's not advancing like story, the story. It's, well, it's you're you're saying it like, like, oh, it's got a lot of story. No, it doesn't. It's 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 saying a lot of words, but it's not actually advancing anything. 
Is it like, is it the same problem that Octopath 1 has? Yes, that it, it, it just runs editor? in fucking circles is the problem. Like, yeah. having a lot of words and a lot of text doesn't mean it has a lot of story. It literally just repeats its dialogue over and over, repeats what's happening over and over. Was the music good? Yes. Yes. Oh. It, it's a fun game. Like I said, it, I don't agree that it, it does that for every scene, but it, like I said, there is a lot of story before you get to the fight. In between exposition. The fight. But it has cool ideas, yes. you know, with like the whole like uh, um, judgment system and whatnot, like, you know, how you decide you want to... You know, like how you want to mass effect, you know, your decisions and alliances and whatever. But it's just like, bro, like, again, it, it needs an editor. Yeah. Ooh, Mario Strikers Battle League, you're going down in C. D. Going down D. in that D. D. Would you say I put D? It D. D. Yeah. D. Yeah. Put it, put I did it, not yeah. have any what? fun with this game. I'm fine putting it in D. I had a little bit of fun, but I mean, that was I played it only a couple times. I is did it, not get my money's worth out of this damn game. Is this is this next level's worst game? Someone yes. donated me to get that game. Worse than Federation opinion, Force. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think that's the most. I think what made that the most disappointing to a lot of people is the fact that people have been waiting for like this uh, this series to come back again. Yeah. So it's just like hoping that oh this time's different. Or this oh. time we're gonna get it. It's gonna be. It's not gonna be as good. It's not gonna be like those other sports games where they half ass it. No, this time they're gonna give a shit. Uh, it's gonna it's take like... another ten years before you maybe get another ten seven new strikes. Look, but let, yeah. let's be let me be critical. They put everything. Characters don't have their own stats anymore. It's all a fucking gear grind. Yeah, and that yeah. gear grind yeah. is not fun. It sucks. Acquiring coins is not fun. Trying to play the matches for players to actually go online. There's no, like, the quote the unquote, is terrible. Player, the quote unquote single player stuff is literally just three cups that amounts to nothing, or else I just didn't give it enough of a shit to continue. And the three characters didn't even save it for me. Yeah, I was actually going to ask. I was like, is there even single player content really in the game? There's like, not really. Not and really. On, and on top of all that, it's like they make this big deal that, oh, you get to select half of half the field to have your home team advantage when it does nothing. Items are no longer based upon your shots. It's RNG. Yeah. It's not just the kind of RNG. Like me, me and Chris tried it online. And like we picked our characters, but we would keep swapping back and forth on it. Like, oh my god, just when, was... just when the oh, game yeah. ca like cared to do that, and it was like, what the fuck? I thought literally, we picked our characters. Literally, you're trying to stick to one character and play position, but the game forces you as soon as you get the ball. It's like, oh no, you're actually controlling this person. Yeah, you're closest to this character, so you're gonna control this character, oh, no matter which one you are. It's like. This is nothing like what Strikers and Charged was. It's not. Like, yeah. They had the crazy field effects that would take ha that would happen that would like change up the gameplay. Items were not like they weren't just thrown on the field by your fans when you're in the rut, waiting, needing that boost to get you back into the game. No, mm. no, you literally just need to make your shots, take your shots, be aggressive, don't. Don't like Penny Foot just because you have to. It breaks up gameplay when you have to run halfway across the field because your colored box is all the way back in the top corner of your fucking field. You really hate Mario Strikers. You, really you, you, you don't understand, Nike. Okay? He's just he's 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 hurt and incredibly disappointed. And it, there's it, a lot of things wrong well, with that. Game. He's saying yeah. here is just to me is just kind of like how the fuck did that happen? Yeah, how, <laughs> yeah. how did it happen? How did that how happen did in the planning stages? How the fuck did that? To me, the game feels like it's what's left over from the cutting room floor of Switch Sports. It <laughs> is. Which, speaking of, been... that's also a D to me. Yeah. Um, there is zero, zero fucking excuse for Switch Sports to be releasing the, as late as yeah. it did into the Switch's life with yeah. this little amount game. of content. Holy fuck. Like, yeah, Wii Sports, that is not. Yeah. I don't, Wii I mean. Sport, Wii Sports was just like the best. And they're Wii not even, was... you know, it's funny thing. Cause I wouldn't even say like the games are bad. Like they're okay. They're not, they're, you know, they're, they're fine or whatever, but like it just. There's no, I don't think I could sit there and say like, yeah, this is worth sixty dollars or or even more if you want to buy with a leg strap. It doesn't ca it doesn't capture the magic. I think the, the golf update thing. came out. I think I, I find it fun. I just find it, it funny because like and it wasn't 
it, I wasn't enthralled. The I find it funny because like I think Wii Sports was a better game, and that game and that game came free with your fucking system. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sort of the best launch game ever. Like that came so, with ever any console. Sort of came free game. with your system. It's sort of like a. A well, deception. yeah, true. I get. If you really, I guess, read between the lines, and technically, it probably because well, in Japan, the Wii didn't come with Wii Sports, and it was technically fifty dollars cheaper. Yeah, so, like roughly that's, with that's exchange true. rates. Good, so, good point. That's true. Reggie talked about it in his wait. book and how he had to fucking fight Nintendo old guard hard to include Switch Sports. Wasn't that a Reggie idea? It was a Reggie idea. Reggie had to fight really hard to put Wii Sports as a pack-in game. Because um, Miyamoto know. and the others were basically not not having it when he basically said it's it's not a it's not really like good enough big enough to sell on its own, but b we like you really need to like pack it in to like to, to demonstrate what the system is about for people. It's a brilliant fucking call on Reggie's part. Like yeah, yeah well and Miyamoto and the old guard just did not want to fucking hear it, but um, yeah, I, I bet. <laughs> and it's it's funny in retrospect because it turned Wii into the fucking family gaming console that I bet Nintendo wanted it to be in the first place, but just streamlined that shit straight into their homes. Yeah, well, like, I remember, the console the greatest age range of any yeah ever. I remember I remember when I bought my Wii, it I for when I first hooked it up that that weekend that shit was downstairs. At the family, and my grandparents were even bold. Yeah, that's how fucking effective that was, that marketing was. Yeah, it was Simmons, insane. I, I wonder if you play Engage at all, Fire Emblem Engage. Oh uh, God, no. Yes, I, <laughs> I, I saw so. some. I saw some clips, and I'm just kind of like, what people think Xenoblade Two is is what Fire Emblem Engage actually <laughs> yeah. is. Uh, it's the taste of a new generation of Fire yeah. Emblem. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Oh god, dude. Like I'm like, uh, uh, Simmons. Like I, I sometimes I'm in Max's chat, and I whenever sometimes Xeno shits comes up, and I see people like who like make comparisons to Zeno, like 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 super anime like shitty story, and they're like that Xeno shits right there. I'm like, you've never. Well, that, that's this. that's, I know. that's, that's, one, that's one of the problems when people are just like, well, this is just anime bullshit. That, that's and that's exactly. when I was like, I'm like, yeah, that's when you know you didn't. That's when it's you like know, there's some just, games like, where it's like, no, there's there's. M it's more than that, and then there's games. Well, I, I even I'll even agree with Engage. Like, I like the gameplay. God, the story sometimes just makes me want to just pull my non-existent hair out. Yeah, that's what everyone says. Is the, the it's better gameplay in Three Houses, but the story is just whatever. Yeah, that and, is. Like, like you talk about triangle strategy going in circles. My God, do they go oh. in circles? In well, I think Engage might even be worse because it's all like cutesy, woozy anime voicey. Look at what he's doing. I'll donate, yeah. I'll donate some hair to you so you can move it <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Thank you, <bro>. What's next? <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. Uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Ah, we all know where that's going. Fuck all y'all. Oh, this I, is... Yeah. I still need to play that. Happy dude day. Kirby in the Forgotten it, you Land. You haven't played it yet, Chris? Holy shit. Kirby in um, the I, Forgotten I, Land is on. Mario Odyssey level of It is of the greatness. best Kirby game. I'm gonna, it's I'm it's, gonna, it's one of mind. the best games on the system, period. Like, like I would even... It, it, if someone was like, hey, what should I get, you know, Mario Odyssey or Kirby, I'd be like, okay, well, depending on how you feel about, like, really loosey-goosey controls or if you just want a more streamlined, um, focused game, I'd actually say Kirby in some, you know, for, for some people. Yeah. Over, over Mario Odyssey. Like, Forgotten Land is one of my big surprises of last year. I mean, I, I was kind of like, eh, I hope this is pretty good, but like, bro, when you go up the elevator after DDD does like the whole push you in to like save you, and then yeah. you just start hearing fucking real voice acting and shit, and like, the story is just going fucking places like it's Final Fantasy VII or some shit. Yeah, no, shit was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was a really great game. Yeah, and it's charming. I mean, it's, as fuck. I mean, it's, like, the, it's the best Kirby game. Like, what is it? Kirby is, game it might it might be the best Kirby game. It's fucking phenomenal. Um, I, I I honestly think Kirby in the Forgotten Land is like it is absolutely up there with like the best of the best. Kirby needs um, more anime intros. <laughs> anime intros. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this is like the like. I mean, I I, I think we'll still probably get two D Kirby games, but this shows that yeah, Kirby in three D works fucking great. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's phenomenal. I don't think I can say a bad thing about Forgotten Land, honestly. 
Um, loved every every moment of it. Music loved, was a banger uh, too. Loved Xenoblade Three. I don't. Man, if the villains were better. Yeah, that if the villains were better, like that that would have been. A, I mean, first of all, that would have been a fucking tough one. How like to beat Xenoblade Two's villains? Like, two Xenoblade Two villains are like so. I mean, you know the the top three. You know, yeah. villains are so fucking good. That's like, that is like to me like. Like there's some of the be- not just the best antagonist in a Xenoblade game, but like the best antagonist I've played like any JRPG. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So uh, fucking good. I no, I would go that far. I would. I don't. I don't, wait, I don't like. Wait, wait, I, don't I like would. To have that I absolutely would. Oh damn, dude. Al, what, 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 I would absolutely go out? that far. Yes, I would. Yeah, I would. I would hundred percent too. Like that shit fucking captivated me. I like it, him, see, but. See, Seeing Zeke like look at a Malthus and just like think back to the fucking conversation while I'm like I'm like that's the moment I went oh this game just fucking just but, but you just again, can take me this like god damn dude then Shit. again it's not hard to beat one and three's villains like really <laughs> like, no no but they're like, not they're not like but here's the thing out. most most villains are, are are one of two things in JRPGs oh yeah that blob you fight at the end. Or they're just a, just a fucking lunatic. Yeah, exactly. And like they might be I mean, a memorable lunatic, but they're just kind of a fucking lunatic. Um, yeah. And, and twos don't even like you know. Oh, maybe they had a point. I mean, they kind of have a little bit of that, but like twos villains are more just like, oh my god, like they're wrong, but Jesus Christ, do I understand why they fucking went this way? <laughs> yeah, and the and the the scenes and the story scenes they had around explaining everything. You know, I mean. And by the end, I mean, out of all the characters, you're you're gonna get to the end and be like, God damn, Jin, holy shit, yeah. And that, that, then I, by the end, I under, I finally understood that emote that uh, Simmons had that I, I I kept seeing and I never understood for all these years. Why is there a little dude? He's got a little with a mask on from that game. And he's got a halo over his head. Yes, he did nothing wrong. He did, he did nothing wrong. He did oh, nothing wrong. Oh, I would still say. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not even, I'm not even gonna say anything. I made that emo for him. He didn't ask me for that. I made it for him. <laughs> I, so I perpetuated the the propaganda that he's spreading. But <laughs> but I don't I don't I don't, I don't, I don't buy into it though. But it's I'd true. I still say overall story wise though, if you count standalones, Forna is probably my favorite. Oh yeah, yeah. The thing is, oh, is like, good. I'm not, really I'm not sure if it is or isn't, but I, I totally. It's like one of those things where it's like, I can, I can buy it. Where it's feel like, yeah, Torna alone is like, I like Torna the most, or I think Torna like on its own is the best. I'm like, yeah, I kind of, I totally get that too. Although I just feel like you really need some of the context from two to really have Torna sink real fucking hard in, because they don't like, yeah. like they don't show Laura actually dying in Torna. Like, but you do get the, but you get, because you know, I mean, you already know. Right, if if you've played two, but if you played Torna without it, you you might miss the whole thing where it's like, well, yeah, Jin's core crystal turns red at the very last part of the credits because it's post her death. Um, yeah. And I would actually go as far to say Future Connect. It would probably be my next favorite story wise. I don't know if Future Connect had enough going on. It was a good, it was okay. like... It was okay. It, I would say that felt like a fun... It, it felt it like a fun some, filler episode. It had some interesting concepts, but they didn't feel like they got resolved necessarily, which maybe they will, actually. <laughs> you know what? Case. You know what? I, I'll get Future Connected. I, I think it was a better story for Melia, like, than even, like, the base it game. Like, it, it, like, switched her art that was not finished in the base game. Yeah, like, essentially, like... I feel like I, I we just played through Xenoblade One. I think a casual person playing through Xenoblade One is just gonna be like, dude, like, poor Melia. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, she just gets so fucked in that game. <laughs> and you're just like, and she's way. so nice, and you're just like, why? Why? Are, why does the game hate Melia so much? <laughs> so I, I think I think Future Connected felt like because it, it really wasn't about Shulk. It was about her, and it's I think that Melia, was which is why good. you that, play that, as her. Like, it literally defaults to her. Yeah. Um, so like. I, I think for that reason, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. But it, in terms of its, like, actual crazy significance, like, it felt like a fun, like, almost like a filler episode that... I mean, you got 10 extra hours on a game. So, like, they remastered yeah. the fuck out of this game, replaced every character's head and hand models, uh, redid a lot of textures, up a bunch more, and then they gave you a 10-hour exclusive brand-new epilogue. And then literally two months later... 
Nintendo charges for same amount of money, 60 fucking dollars, ten dollars more than its initial release. Here's Skyward Sword HD, which we farmed out to some small ass <laughs> team in Australia, Australia to up-res the game. We didn't add anything. We didn't do anything new. We, we talked about, oh, it took us so long to come up with, you know, a dual analog control scheme. Oh, fuck off. No, it didn't. <laughs> like, like, ugh. Like, the the, the difference in, in, like, effort and quality between some of their projects, or at least between Monolith and just about anyone else, and Nintendo is, like, night and day. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm, just, I'm just thinking now, too, like, the more I've thought about, like, Xenoblade 2 is definitive, like, one... What if we get an additional thing like Future Connected? Yeah. And That'd then two, cool. what what if what if they actually like adjust and update the art style a bit even? You know, like how they did with uh. No, they're uh, still gonna look the same. With from Definitive, like from like, cause remember they like they made everyone's they changed everybody's faces and. Uh, how are they gonna? Change I think it what they might do is they the might they might add some of the hair shaders to two, but I don't think you're gonna get like. They're gonna look yeah, like a I mean, completely I, different I'm just curious to see how they yeah. update it. Like I, I'm like I could almost, almost see them updating it in a way to where it looks more like what Xenoblade Three was. Like their eyes are maybe a little smaller. Like I Neo think they might more... give them the, um, the Xenoblade Three thing where their eyes are constantly moving. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, cool. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not, uh, gonna uh, dark style I'm not, I'm not expecting them to, to like, because I mean. The game is what it is, right? And the, the blades and everything else are all made like by a billion different artists, crazy art styles yeah. and stuff. And it's it, it is what it is. I'm not expecting them to actually go in and like you know try to. Well, well we're gonna bring us all to under. Art. Yeah. So like more of like I'm just curious to see how they they decide to update it, aside from the fact that it'll obviously just run better. And... I mean, they already had like like Shulk and, and Fiora coming in and Elma and like they already had like a bunch of like stuff they added to it, you know, post release. True. Um, like I, I what, just want to see. What else could I want to see. Though. I mean, a ten-hour epilogue. Is Al yeah, Al like a ten-hour like, epilogue. Poking it's his like... head in, like, what is this universe? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, like if they could find a, if they actually found a way to like essentially connect a ten-hour I mean, epilogue I think... that's dedicated story about Zeke and Morag because they were the last two to get added, so they had the least amount of screen time. Yeah, sure. Yeah, actually... I, w I would say that's pretty cool because like. And it has to be like post ending. Like, like right. we have to see what happened afterwards. Like, how did the land look? What happened? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what did they do? Yeah, I'd say I'd want it to be like a connecting thing to whatever their new, like, whatever Xenoblade goes from here. But I, it's probably going to be more the DLC we're literally getting for three right now. So, so PK Tactics, if you want to know why, how is Breath of the Wild not hired, you have to explain to me why it should be. Yes, I'm putting the onus on you, but yeah, that's what I would. That's what I kind of hope and wish for, and like say a, uh, um, a Xenoblade Two definitive is basically you know fix field skills, fix the UI, uh, make it snappier, of course. But mm -hmm. like, yeah, like just because people say like, oh, it trivialized field skills. If it just if it just pulled from everyone in your inventory rather than who's equipped, and I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, nobody cares. Nobody likes it. Literally, nobody like, fucking likes it. You're just wasting things. my time making me swap shit around. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it would. It would make it ridiculous. Like, it would make it pointless. But, but they're already feel fucking pointless. <laughs> yeah, they're just annoying. So well, yeah, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. It, they wouldn't mess with the combat in in Defender because they didn't mess with the combat at all in Xenoblade One. And Xenoblade One arguably yeah. needed. The, it's it's combat system overhauled the most because it's the most basic of the well, three. They wouldn't get rid of field skills because there's story parts that do they use it like a rock. It's like you need rock to get past the barrier, so they're right. not going to get rid of it. They could make it easier though. Yeah, like like make it so that all blades. It, it's really no actually what you have. It will the, affect the, the, the funny thing is is like except for except for maybe like some art style stuff and rex's pants i mean they really mostly can fix like all of like our problems with two and make it like literally one like like the perfect fucking game <laughs> you know like the, it's all so i like, mean really like uh, yeah if if they fixed if they fixed field skills and they fixed affinity chart mm -hmm. and and they added a, a a video dictionary like they did for three to mm -hmm. always reference and, and and go back to yeah yeah I don't know what else I would even say. Like, what what, what would need fixing then at that point? Nothing. 
Just don't let me don't, move don't, in don't, combat. You know, again. just the sixty yeah. frames, and you know, looks amazing. Yeah, that'll be the fucking best. And it'll be that'll like, be yeah, better. well, yeah. shit. Great. Now that <laughs> I have nothing to bitch about. Again oh, correct. Also, add lip sync. Correct. Well, they would yes, do that. Yes, please. They would do that because the thing is, is lip syncing was uh, animate was was it's it was added in Definitive. Started with Definitive. They started using the AI lip syncing thing that like even Seven does. Seven remake. Yeah, so, whatever they're using now needs to be done. Because there was no lip syncing in two, like not really. So. Yeah. You know, I honestly. I w if before I played it, I would have said they uh, they gotta they gotta redub the game, but at this point, I, I mean, nah, I, the, nah, nah I'm, it, it's fine. If Rex you can get fine. Al Weaver to come in and uh, give some honest to God screams, sure. Yeah, they, it, man, they, you can give some better screams, but like, yeah. That's if kind they of about if they it. did like you know like a post game thing for like a new epilogue, like and you have Rex show up, like he might be able to sound the same, but he might just sound different because it's been a while. Since he like he did that, yeah. voice. Who, he probably uh, wouldn't remember how to get back into it. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because really the only thing you need from him is just just give some honest screams. Like yeah, that's true. Not these like you, you know you're you're in you know you're in a home full of people who are asleep at three a.m. screams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Too late. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know Sky. Yeah. Uh, what was her name? Um, who did a, 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 a fire method? She said she would have. She wished she could have seen what the actual scene was, so she because yeah. she would have read her lines completely differently. Um, I love when voice actors do that. It's like I want. I want to portray this character great. If I could have just done that. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it is what it is at this point though. Like because the rest of the game and the story is so fucking good that like at this point it's actually like I actually don't care as much anymore because it's like weirdly charming now <laughs> like, oh yeah i'm, I'm you, way too you, used you to adjusted there. to it yeah it's like it, it's well that, that's the thing but it's because the story is so good if it wasn't i would have been like you know yeah should they need to pick that shit up but because it, everything else was so superbly written and so superbly shown off it just was like they, I, like i kind of weirdly like rex's dumb dopey voice and, and stuff you know and his stupid screams. i think there's <laughs> a lot of charm to rex voice. i think i played the game once in japanese and he has like that sort of traditional like scratchy froggy little kid voice yeah um but i <laughs> but i like you know there's so many there's there's a lot of lines of rex i do really like where he's like uh i forget what it is but this is at the very beginning of the game where he's just kind of he's just this fuck, i can't remember i can't remember the exact quote but he has like some weird uh thing when he's at the argentum central exchange or whatever and he just sort of like, just like the way he just sort of like brushes someone off. He's like, ah! <laughs> 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 just, just like little, like little, like quips like that. Um, you know, I think he the salvager code stuff actually is kind of charming. Um, I, I, it's great. I mean, I actually like... think he nails the ending part where, like, when he has to be like sad and emotional, like, like when he. Oh yeah, no, it, like, and I'm not trying to like dunk on it. The whole, the whole game, all the voice actors are completely fine. It, the, the biggest problem is just voice direction. Um, but like, but during most of like the really important scenes, now nah, everyone kind of nails it. So it's like, it, it's not like it's just absolute train wreck throughout. Just more that like the random moments and like, uh, parts of it, like, and you know, Jin at the start sounds like such a try hard, edgy guy or something yeah. like that. But it like. But it's so like by the end you're like I fucking love it, dude. Yeah, edge me, man. Fucking edge me, did kid. You, did you <laughs> did you see that interview with David Menken where he says like I totally read and played Malice off as 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 uh, a gay lover for with Jin. Like, yeah, yeah, you mentioned that. Before. Yeah, we we saw it like the other day. Which was interesting. Yeah. That means he was paying attention to the script and what was going on. Like so, like he he and he remembered it like years later. It wasn't just like mm -hmm. oh, I just came in, I read this thing. It's like, hey, Mark Hamill, what was it like playing Majma? Who? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I did that. <laughs> He's so. It was kind of interesting that like yeah, like he, he even, but he was even saying that was like, like with Malice, like he's not like a complete hundred percent just like. I mean, he's evil and he loves it. and I kind of love how he's such an asshole, but like. He does care. That's the weirdest thing about Malos. Yeah, that's, like, what, that's what makes it so good is that he 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 cares, but he's not even like almost aware of it. Like you know, like he's not like willing to even acknowledge. Like like yeah, like at, when Jin like is dead, he's like oh well or something like that. But then he describes like you know this broken man. Yeah. He's like he wanted to die. <laughs> 
but he got it. <laughs> yeah, the whole line about like you know his life was the one thing he hadn't lost because he couldn't. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's he, like he didn't want to forget Laura, which is like why well, I think his ending speech is actually really good because he he has a line I think it brushes over a lot of people where he's like words can be a curse. That yeah, words can be a curse sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and that curse is what kept him tied down here. Because, like, he was still so in love with Laura, and he and he didn't want to forget her. He didn't want her memory to be gone. So it was like he was cursed to basically live this immortal life, more or less. Like, watching, you know, th watching the people responsible for her death, like, you know, go on and, and prosper and, like, you know, whatever. So it's like, Jim didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> It's yeah, kind of I mean, what I'm getting yeah, at. I mean, it's brilliantly, brilliantly fucking written. Like that shit is so, like so, it's like so fucking poignant. You're like, oh my god, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, uh, Zuma Two is great. You should play it, chat, <laughs> if you haven't. Ignore how d dumb uh, Rex's pants are if you can. All right, <laughs> it, it's fine. Yeah, whatever. His pants are whatever. Not that bad. I've seen worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we have left at this no, point? Often. Let's play Splatoon not, 3 and D. I have not played Splatoon 3. Splatoon is Splatoon 3 and D. I don't know. Uh, I mean, we haven't played it, so we don't know, but it's There's probably There's a lot of things fine. he hasn't played on here, but he's put in the list. Kirby's Dream. I've had so much fucking fun with this game. I'm going to eat my ass if you don't. <laughs> oh, the big, the big ball game? Oh, yeah. I've had so much fucking fun with Dream Buffet. Um, yeah, do, you, I, you play, do you play a lot with uh, with your girlfriends? Oh, yeah. Too, right? we're, we're Bonnie and Clyde in that It's the culture that elevates it. Well, was, we're playing it online, and, and we're playing with other people online, and we're <laughs> we're terrorizing all the kids. Nice. <laughs> are, you guys, are you guys teaming up with all the other fat Kirbys? I mean, we're playing to win, you know. Man, but fuck it, them kids. But the it kids. basically boils down to that, where, like, me and her are just, like, at the last stage, like, super fat, just... Just pushing the other two competitors out of the way as we drag on the stick. <laughs> yeah, the game is the game looked very charming watching you guys and it and it also made me incredibly hungry. It does. It'll do that. It's unreal. Fat Kirby. You just, yeah. you just become fat Kirby. <laughs> it's true. I, I do like fat Kirby. He just sucks in everything. He likes and that's like the point of the game because you get to the end and it tallies up your score and it's just like who's the fattest Kirby on, on a the scale? The fattest Kirby. Yeah, I know. I remember watching uh, you play that with the dudes and I was like, yeah, this is pretty cute. It was pretty fun to watch you guys. I don't know what was going on there that night because like, it was just running like butt because like, we play it you know, online all the time and we never get the... Yeah, it was weird that locally it was running like shit. Yeah. Yeah. It was really, that was really weird, but I mean, it's actually a lot of fun and it's quick and snappy in a way that Fall Guys isn't, where Fall Guys is a lot of like waiting around, like, da -da 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 like yeah, I personally do not like how Fall Guys controls. Like, I, I play it for like. That's why I tell Steve, and he, he thinks, you know, he, he can't stand the fact that I'm like, it control, I'm like, I tell him it controls. I had like, my butt. fun with Fall Guys, and I'm just <laughs> like, like, I'm done. It actually controls like shit. It's a shitty controlling platformer. Like, yeah. they, they made it this way because they knew the controls were ass, so, like, they just decided to run with it. Yeah. Like, turn it turn it Controls, it like, ass, and the, and, and the online, uh, I, at least back when I played, I don't know, maybe it's better now, but I remember the input delay was just, like, hilariously bad. <laughs> yeah, it did get pretty bad. But it was just, like, it was just wipe out, like, little yeah. cartoony... Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it's wipe out the platformer, so... That's kind but of yeah, the point. Dream Buffet is, like, so quick and snappy and easy to just jump in and out of. And the music's fantastic. There's a shit ton of Kirby remixes and stuff. It's great. Yeah, it looked look like a lot of fun. Bayo 3. I'm, I'm, I'm a little shocked 2's not on here, 1 and 2. I would say I'll Bayo know, 3... I'll leave you and Nico, because you guys both played to beat it. I would um, say it's an A. I love the side, you just like, oh. Uh, well, no, I'm just like, I'm trying to think where I would put that. Um... Bayo 3, yeah, no higher yeah, than an A. I, I it's think an it is. A, I think it's a it's, high A. It's handicapped a bit by... It's handicapped by its hardware. Mm -hmm. Um... And the amount of things that were cut. Yeah, but we can't really like. It definitely had the one of the most bizarre endings. Um... Yeah, I don't play Bayo for story, and three is a good reason. I, I don't either. Is a like, good I really, reason I really... why you shouldn't. There was like, like a I, million deaths, I, I le... like that's all at the end. I I legit like yeah the the story of Bandit I don't really care about, but I did find the weirdly the ending to be so weirdly mean spirited towards like uh uh. The, who's the new girl's name again? Violet? Uh, girl, yeah. Girl, girl Jill? Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and she like, <laughs> we're just like, they're just like, they just, I, I, I don't want to spoil for a shot, but it, the ending was just kind of unusual and like weirdly like 
Like, time pass <laughs> like I remember just like a point where, like the one character just starts crying and then they just cuts the credits and I'm like, what the fuck was this? <laughs> it's like, why did they do that? It was, it was <laughs> fucking weird. It's, it, it definitely is weird and it is it is handicapped hard by its hardware. Um, yeah, in terms of its actual gameplay and stuff, yeah, it was it was like barely keeping itself. But I think the, I think the core gameplay is solid. I I I fucking love the fact that they tried to take a character action game and add some goddamn fucking variety to the level design. Finally, yeah. um, I think that's fantastic, honestly. But it is like you are looking at it and you're like, it feels like they basically chopped a bunch of stuff down. It does feel like a sort of like chopped down version of a game and yeah Chad, I, I see some people saying like viola turn me off oh, like I, you either really like either love viola or you hate her i actually i like find her, her gameplay i just fun, i just actually. i don't like her design at all like that's the only thing that irks me about her it's like i i hate that look i there's some people that like that look i don't she was i thought she was funny Honestly, uh, so I thought I thought she was sort of charming in that way. I liked that she was kind of goofy, but like I get why people didn't love it. And the, by the way, Simmons, yeah, they actually ended up um they ended up patching the game and made her uh, parry way better, like way better and easier to pull off. Easier to pull off. I didn't even have a problem with it. <laughs> yeah, it was. But like, I, I think the problem was everyone just, like you, you come off of Bayo and she plays so differently that it always like fuck people up. Um, you know what? It's 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 a, it's it's a it's a weird swing. I'm not gonna say it's a miss because I don't think it's a miss at all. It's a weird swing, but it went and kind of like veered off, you know, in the left field rather than like, you know, straight into the sign at the back of the stadium, if anything. Yeah. It's like, you know, you're, you're trying to hit like, I want to hit the scoreboard and it kind of veered way off to the left. And you're like, well, all right, still got the run, but. I... <laughs> yeah, you mean, the, you mean in terms of like the, the plot stuff. And I just mean everything, really. Like, I, I think it's great how they took a wild swing at all these random ass different gameplay ideas with the kaiju summoning and. The wackiest shit weapons they have there. Yeah. Um, it doesn't all come together, like everything in the game it doesn't all come together like smoothly. But like, I appreciate the at least the attempt to do something unique and different. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. can I can I just say that I'm like I'm getting really tired of like the whole like just like a multiverse shit in games that everyone is is trying to do in their games. Like like it's clever, right? Like. I don't, I don't. Well, at least in Bayo's really case, old. we got a bunch of really cool looking like alternate costume or alternate versions. Cause it wasn't just like, I'm, I'm, you know, Bayonetta, but like slightly this or slightly that. It was like, no, here's, here's Egyptian looking, you know, Bayo and Jean. Here's like Tokyo modern it's day like pop. like the Futurama you know. episode where they go to the, to the other, the other versions of Well, it's fun cause we Perfectly like. symmetrical I, fighting. I, <laughs> the thing is, I think we like seeing all kinds of wacky different variations of characters. I think that was fun. Um, yeah. to see yeah, Bayonetta. Because Bayonetta doesn't take it so seriously. It's not trying to set up some fucking, like, ten movie arc, like, wherever the fuck Marvel's doing. It's just kind of like, it's an excuse to have all, like, you know, a bunch of different wacky variations of Bayonetta and Gene, and even Enzo, where he's like a police cop or whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was yeah, fun. It, I think overall, you know, I, I did that's very... Getting, like, oh, just overly used. Yeah, I don't everything. know. It's, Everyone's it trying to do it. Doesn't quite stick the landing, but it's still it's still a good game. It's still a good. Yeah, time. I I actually personally I think out of all the Bayo games, this is the one I actually enjoyed playing the most. Three. Yeah. I would say two is the I, best, but. Yeah, I, I've seen a lot of people say that too. I actually like this game. I think more than two. I end up sort of like I, the the amount of variety in it's, the weapons and it's shit. Definitely got more variety than two. It, it's like fucking hell, dude. Like, uh, I was like, this shit is crazy. It, it, was, it was crazy and so much fun. I loved being able to, like, run around the levels, too, and look for shit and, like... Yeah, uh, I, that's, and that's what I really liked about the game was, that, like, oh, shit, we have level design, finally. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I've i seen a lot of people say that they think 2 is best. So I realize it might be a bit more of a hot take, but I really did you like... You know, it's a little bit just because, like, again, I don't think it all comes together, but, like... I think the re like the reasons you know you would say you like three of the best. I think are valid good good points, and they're th they're the best things about three to me. Um, yeah, and actually, and I, again, and, and I I I did like Viola as like actual like the character. And, you know, I thought she was fun. I thought it was a, f a fun and goofy character. And I and I thought that the 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 whole kaiju like sized like getting the your mm -hmm. giant dudes to fight each other. I was like, this is sick. There were some and some of the. The, the gameplay gimmicks for some of those bosses like that one where you had to 
where you were doing like the the rhythm based one where you were like singing and like shooting uh hitting like bullets out of the oh, sky yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah. It was like holy shit this shit's amazing man oh my god there's so many good ones it, it, yeah. it's a lot like no more heroes 3 and it's sort of just insane creativeness but i think it just it's just a better quality product overall yeah did not play sparks of hope oh um, you did I, I think you did i mean it wasn't hard the first to see, one to, to see where like the twist that is the obvious twist in that game um, I'm putting Scarlet and Violet in D tier, having not played it, but shame on I'd put them in lame tier. Yeah, shame on them for that <laughs> game coming out the way it did. Um, that was inex that was fucking inexcusable. <laughs> it's yeah. the biggest selling flop that there is. Yeah, look, 20 million in six weeks. I'm like, fuck this yeah. game. Um, yeah. I'm just, no, no. I don't care if I didn't play it. Is that's this, that's this, D tier. That's a that's this inexcusable. Every, is this every, this is, no, this is no, this is, this is a right. chunk Donkey of Donkey Kong's not even on there. Yeah, this is a chunk of first party games. Yeah, I don't um, think Live Alive is on Metroid here either. Prime Remastered is yeah. not on there. Granted, I don't know how old this one is. So, um, a lot of them I mean, it has Xenoblade Three. So it's yeah, kind a lot of, of them only go up to 2022. Um, but I mean, I would has Engage on there though. It does. That's true. That shit came out. Hey, like and the bright side, guys, look at this thing. Look at the, the row up there. We got two rows on S rank. That's pretty good. That is true. Um, so to me, yeah, like that is that is a big one. Um, I really wish I could get like a big fucking tier maker where it would have like third party stuff too because I'm like, what is... Somebody has to like take the time to like cut out pictures or yeah, yeah, yeah. To make a but I'm like what is like the best third party games whether or not they're the best on switch or not like i would argue both near and 13 because near is actually a very well done port for what it is on switch yeah yeah um, it's, it's, and 13 sentinels is fantastic is, is yeah that's yeah. probably one of the best switch games you can get yeah i someone was asking, i did not play live alive i haven't played it yet i don't think i'm gonna like it i you'll you'll like I, I don't already, think it, I don't think it's gonna be like the best game ever for me, but I'm like, ah, oh, this will probably be enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, that's, I like think it'll that be enjoyable. It there, it's there, welcome. The the big thing with with Live Alive is that some of the scenarios aren't great, some are fantastic, and I know you'll you'll definitely enjoy them. The music is godlike. Yeah. Um, but like, it, one of the, you know, I think at the very least you'll appreciate too. Like, this game was probably one of the most like, uh ambitious games of his time with just like every every like uh like it's honestly and now i think about it, it's very similar to octo tra octopath travel it, it's saga frontier before saga frontier yeah but each but each like character story is like so vastly different and almost has different like gameplay aspects to it um like one of the characters is almost like it just has a it's <laughs> hilariously it has an absolute ton of like sci-fi references almost like 13 sentinels where i'm like holy shit and like it, the whole and it's actually less about like RPG battles and more about like Atmo and like survival horror times. You don't have to like, grind too much, but if you want to get like secret bosses, you'll grind a little bit. Yeah, but he doesn't have to do that. It's just you know. Yeah, that's just optional bullshit. Yeah. So and it, but it's good. I, I I I definitely recommend you check it out, Simmons.